Good afternoon, the Chairman of Humanity Defender and Access to Justice Advocate Center, our Lego Department, co comrades, able viewers, and our Queen Mrs. Solutiona Life from Shasha Branch. We have a case of breach of contract reported by one Mr. Uche Osueke, who is based in Bangkok, Thailand. We have a business transaction with one Mr. Harry. Gale Forentia, who is also based in Cameroon slash Nigeria. We have Mr. Uche Osweke from Thailand, Bangkok, connected to us in this office. Uh, please join us as we interview him and also listen to him on how uh, the business went between himself and Mr. Harry Gale Forentia. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel on Access to Justice TV. And follow us on our Facebook page on Kumar Right Defender and Access to Justice Advocate Center. For more useful information, please visit our website on www.hrdac.org.ng. And for some of you that want to send us a message, please message us on our in, email on info at hrdac.org.ng. Or inquire line 0903-2474. Uh, 90, 000, 24, and if you want to send us a WhatsApp message, please send your message to 090-3024-23. Thank you for being with us. Right. Mr. Ucho Seke, good afternoon from here. I don't know your time over there. Good evening from Myanmar. It's all right. Uh, can we hear you out, please? What is the issue you reported, Mr. Herr and Gale for it here? Can you tell us what transpired between both of you? Thank you. Can you face here? Can you face us here? Can you face your camera, please? Thank you. Yeah, go ahead like that. Okay, ma. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It was it started on uh, on the year 2010 in Senegal, Dakar, Senegal. I met one Mr. Henry for the day from Senegal. From I don't understand. From, uh, Hello. Are you reading your statement? Are you reading your statement from book or is not what what you want to tell us is it not true? Are you reading what you are saying no. from paper from book? No, 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 I'm not reading I'm not reading anything from paper. Man. Then face your camera and be telling us what happened. Okay, sorry ma'am. You are still doing not something else. Can you hear me ma? Go ahead. Okay, I said I meet one Mr. Henry from Senegal on 2010. Yes. Through through one of my one of my brothers, who's a pastor, that connected me to him. That was 2010. So I stay with I stay with Mr. Henry for some for some years. So that time he's doing He's doing, he is into business. He is into business that period, that time. So I told Mr. Harry that uh, I would like to, I would like him to connect me to his business. I'm interested in joining him to his business. And uh, that time I don't have, a, I don't have capital. And he said I should try and get capital. That as, as soon as I get Capital, he will connect me to his business. He is into, into, into agricultural business. So I said, okay, he tell me the amount I have to raise before he can connect me to his business. So I said, okay, I started working on that particular amount. So on getting can you face the camera? Can you face the camera and talk? What are you looking for up? Can you just station your camera to your front and talk? 
Yes, leave the camera. You leave the phone and talk. Yeah. Go ahead and please be smart with your word, please. So, so getting on 2015, I contacted him by then. He, he has left Senegal to, to Cameroon. I, con I called him. I said, I said, uh, I called him chairman. I, I called him chairman. Now I am ready to enter into the business. Please, how can I, how can he connect me to the business? He said, okay. He told me everything to do, I have to do. So, so he designed all the, he designed all the docu all the, all the, all the documents and everything. He designed it for me, sent it to me from, from Cameroon. So, he told me everything. He connected me to, to his agent, to his agent in Senegal. So, that is then we discuss on the price. So he, he told me that he told me that everything has to cost me three three point five three point five million cifa. Three point five million cifa. To ship to ship twenty feet container. To ship this container, three point five million cifa. To ship it to twenty feet container. Then so he called his, his he said he will call to he will call his agent. So his agent to he sent his agent to come to my house so that I can give him his agent three point five million cifar. Then I said okay. He designed bag. He designed bag. He said I should go to some place and buy uh, uh, one thousand pieces of bag. To process the business, 1,000 pieces of bag, which I, everything he told me that period, I did. So his agent now come to my place. I called my senior brother, my senior brother, my own senior brother, one of my friends. Three, uh, four of us was there. I went to my uh, my uh, bank. I withdraw the money. I, uh, I withdraw the money. I come back to my room. By then, his agent is is waiting for me in my in my place. Then my senior brother was there, one of my friends was there. I count three point five million if I cash I give to his agent. So when I got the money so in his, his agent, presence where in Nigeria or in Cameroon or in Thailand? No, in in Senegal in Senegal. In Senegal. Yes. Okay. So when I give his agent the, 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 the amount, then he has his agent to write sign that he has received social amount from me. We inform Mr. Harry from Cameroon then. So his agent is then I told his agent that the business has to be on my name. It's not with with Harry's name. Then his agent he said that Mary has already told him that he's not telling me so that the business has to be on my name. I said no. This is what we discussed. That is the business has to be on my name. I have to produce, I have to bring my my name. Then we drag it, then before Harry accepted, accepted, he designed, he designed the he designed the, 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 my, my own my own name. He designed my own company my own company's name and send it to me. And send it to me. This was my this was Matt, can you see me? I can see you. Bring the okay. okay this was, Go ahead. This was the this was the name. Show it on My the own. camera, not on your face. Just show it on your camera. It's not clear. You remove your face. Just show it to me. I don't want to see your face for now. You see company limited. Who who did this one? This was Mr. Henry. That 
consultant and all this name. This is UC Company Limited. Okay. This is UC Company Limited. It was my name. That is the name I the, the name I sent to him to use it to at my own company's name. All right. Then he designed he designed this and said to me. Then I give it to his agent. That was the the, the name the, the his agent has to use to produce my own the the goods, the twenty six container of fish mail. Fish mail. Then yes, fish mail. From uh, Kotonou? No, from, from, Sen from Senegal. From Se okay. From Senegal. Then I don't have any I don't have any buyer then. I don't have just I don't have any anything like a buyer or whatever. Then I I, I asked him, I call him Mr. I call him chairman. Now that I don't have or you know I don't have buyer. How can we do how can we he handle this? He said that I should not worry. Now that he want that he will as soon as his agent produces the, the 20 piece container, that he will supply the push to his buyer to not be down. You can hear me man. Go ahead. He can say that he will supply the goods for me in, to his buyer in Napi Jam. I said, okay, no problem. That I will use it then before, before then, then I, from then from there, then I will I will be able to learn how the business is going, how the business goes. I said, okay, no problem. So I went to produce the bag. One of my I went to produce the bag, one thousand pieces of bag. It cost me two hundred and thirty-seven thousand francs FIFA. So, so when I produce, it, then then we went. Then I pay half of I pay half of the money. They they told, they told us to come to come in the in, in the next three days and collect the bag and pay them the remaining balance. Then I went. I went and collect the, the bag. But then have, I, the well, bag have you done the? Were you? Have you ever I done the business before? Hold on, hold on, hold on, because you are taking my time too much without your story. Have you done business before? Have you done that business before? No, I never did. did, did I never did, did the business before. Before, sorry, but before before I went to before I went to him. I told the I told my my pastor the, the man that connected me to him. They look at what I want to do with the, this man. The, my pastor tell me that I should not put head as long as it is that man. I, I should not put head. I should not put my hand in that business. So why do you not I go into it? it? Why do you not go my, into it? No, this, I, I told my I told him that this is what I want to do. That, that is my 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 my, my plan. But when your you pastor that told you not to go into the business, why do you still go into the business? I said because he, 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 the man told me that the man is not trust the man. I said I told the man that I trust the man because I did I have lived with the man for so many years. Okay, so that the man cannot do it that with Henry. I uh, stay with him since 2010. I yeah, stay with him 2010, 2011, 2012 before I leave him. Stay on my own. So I said, this man cannot do me any bad, uh, cannot hurt me. But I want that, that is the business I want to enter. The man said, okay, if I'm sure that the man cannot do me anything, cannot be sincere to me, why should the man did not agree? My senior brother did not even allow me. Even this is up to now because of this business now I have problems with my senior brother because of this business. The the the, the guy the guy that is that they, my friend because of this business now I still have problem with him because these three of them told me not to put my hand anything of anything concerning that man. I said I told them that I have stayed with this man for for many years. He cannot he cannot he cannot do me he cannot hurt me. But at the so, end of the day, now what now happened? Leave all the story because they told you you just choose want you want to go into business that you don't know. So, you of course, so I put so his agent now now produce the the goods. Then we contacted him that the goods now is ready. 
What is the major problem? What is the major problem? Hold on. What is the issue? I want to hear what is the matter. Leave how you people the issue, print the back. The, the issue now started when when the goose is ready. So we contacted him that, that, that told, we told him that now the goose is ready. Then now, if you look at uh, this, this invoice now, is what is him that did this invoice. Now, don't know anything about the invoice. If this invoice now was written in French, this invoice now was written in French, he said that as soon as, 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 soon as he gives we give this uh, invoice to the buyer. The buyer will make fifty percent payment. The buyer will make percent payment as soon as we give only invoice to the to to, 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 to the buyer. Then, then the problem started when the, when we contacted him. Said that the goose is ready. Then uh, I started asking him for my for my money because he told me that as soon as the goose is ready, that he will pay me. My money. You understand, man? So, so he said, as soon as the goose is ready, as long as, as soon as you are repeating ready, yourself, I sent, I you, sent him. <laughs> man, what did he say? You are repeating yourself. Go straight to the point. Okay, so, so when the goose is ready, then I sent him, I sent him the copy, the copies of original of, of the, of the copy of. Of Bill of London, I sent him the, cop the copy of Bill of London, which it is. This is the, this is the copy of the, of, uh, of the Bill of London. Did the goose go there? Did you send the goose to him? He, so when when the goose is ready, they will contact him. So he now give his give his agent instruction what to do. Yes. So then then his his uh, his agent now. Take the goods to 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 seaport. Yeah, they are going to ship the goods. To what the now happened? What now happened? I don't need that those story. What is the problem, Oga? Okay, okay. Uh -uh. I, then I started asking for my for my for my payment. He said I should come down. I should come down. That he, him and his father was going to pay me my money. So. By then, I hold the I hold all the rich, all the documents, all the original documents. I hold it over for myself. So I tell asking my mom. They said that they said as soon as I send the document, I send all the documents to them that they will make my payment. I contacted his his uh, his agent. His agent told me that I should not send it my all my or the original document the original document to them. That if I send the original document to them, they will, they will not pay me my money. I hold these, these, those, these documents more than four days. Here we are dragging for my payment. So At the end, what happened? Or six days, I still contact his agent. His agent said that, okay, since the man, since the Henry refused to pay me my money, that I should send the, my, I should send the documents to them because, because without the documents, they cannot fill out the goods in the in, in, in seaport in, in, in Abidjan. Then, then if uh, that uh, the agent said that if I send the documents to, to them, if they did not pay me, then I will hold Henry. Then I will hold Henry. That is the person I will hold, but I don't know his buyer. He seems that she the ship the goods to, 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 to his buyer. Then I started asking, then I went to the DHL. I went to the DHL. Okay, I told him that I don't have money to send the documents to his buyer in Africa. Then he asked his his, uh, his buyer in Abidjan to send me 150 iron paper. 150 iron paper. Then he sent me to Western Union. Then I went to Western Union, checked the quality of 150 iron paper he sent to me. And if you look at this 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 invoice, and this invoice, now what is there now? The amount is there now is 10 10 thousand. Has the man pay you any any money? Come 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 face me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Enough of your explanation. Hold on, hold on. Because if I leave you, you keep me till next year. Has he pay you any money out of this? Yes. How yes. much? Yes. How much? Yes. How much? Just on Sammy Street. Yeah. How much? The amount they have, the amount they have paid me is one million one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Out of how much? Out of what, what, what we are Out doing of is, how much? We, Out of how much? The total amount in the invoice is 6,650,000. 
Six million, six hundred and what? Six. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen to me. If you don't want me to cut you off, if I give you sign, you have to stop. You cannot be talking, talking without listening to person. You cannot be talking, okay, you are not seeing sign, you are not hearing whatever. You can hear what I'm saying. Yes, ma'am. He gave you one million what? One million, one hundred and fifty thousand people. Uh, out of how much? Out of, out of, because he said that it's... Out of how much? I don't want sorry, or God. Out of how much? Okay, out of four, four point, four point four fifty. That's what he said. My phone is, and they have the commission of authors. Out of four point four. Out of four point four fifty. Out of four point four. Out of four point four fifty, Sefa. Yes. Then give me. They send me one point one million one fifty thousand Sefa. So you have a you have remaining four point four fifty minus minus one point one fifty. You have three point three balance. Yes, balance. But but regarding what I, I regarding what I said to you, I said. I do not need uh, need 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 uh, uh, that 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 amount we agree on. That what I need is the particular amount I invested into the business. That is what I need. Which is how much? With three point five million CFA. They have paid me one million one hundred and fifty thousand CFA. Three point five million. Sorry. Three point five million. Yes, the total capital I invested into the business three point five. Three point five minus yes. one point one fifty. So you have one you remaining one point two. Sorry. It's remaining one point two, right? Or oh, I cannot hear you. Three point five, Abby. Three point five. Three point five minus one point one fifty. It made two thirty five. Two point three fifty. Two point three fifty, yes, ma'am. That's what they are what what managed to send up to two thousand and sixteen up to now. I've been asking them my million balance. Up to two All right, hold on, let's communicate yes. to hold on, hold the line. I 
pack all those your documents as if you are in court and you are not coordinated, you are not even coordinated to even explain yourself. Pack all those your document one place and face this camera. Pack all those your document one place and face this camera because you are in your house. Does not exist. Please check the number and try again. We're trying to call him. Okay. <laughs> Calling him both direct and both on WhatsApp, he has not picked anyone. While we're still calling, uh, calling Mr. Harry, before he picks, let me... I think I need to... I need to uh, advise some of you. You should at least be contented with what you are doing to an extent. If you are desperate for anything, be sure that in no time you will be duped. When you are not contented with what you are doing, you see Mr. A into car business because the person is making it, you want to be there. You see your girlfriend or your female friends being into her business or into clothing because she is making it you want to be there. You see someone into drug business 419 you want to be there because you see the person is making it. We all come into this world with a star, with destiny. And you must know and ask what is your calling. What can I do to make it in life? Where can I render service to be blessed? 
What kind of business should I venture into? Is it dog? Is it car? Is it shoes? Is it driving? And is the reason some of us who live in the Western world or even in the city for years who end up, hold on, Harry is calling us, I want to speak with him. Hello, Mr. Harry, good afternoon. How are you, sir? I'm okay. I'm okay. It's all right. My name is Mrs. Solushola. I am calling you for Human Rights Defender and Access to Justice Nigeria. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Uche Useke from Thailand, Bangkok. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Hello, is it Thailand or Bangkok? Hold on. We have Mr. Uche Useke from Bangkok. He reported the case in this office against you, and we have uh, uh, sent uh, our invitation online to you a few days before now. This case is supposed to have come up yes, uh, on the 31st of July, which was yesterday, but we have other cases we're treating offline, and due to we cannot connect to him because of network from Nigeria, we're not able to reach out to both of you. And it's the reason why we are calling up on the case today. He is, is connected to us in this office as well. He said that uh, you compare him to invest in a business that he have no knowledge about. And after the whole thing, he sent the goods across to whom you directed him to send the goods to. Which uh, what uh, four point four hundred and fifty so far? One uh, one. 1150 was uh, sent to him, and uh, since then, no balance was sent to him since then. And every effort to uh, recover his investment, which is the capital from you, prove abortive. He don't want the interest any longer, but he wants the money, the capital invested in the business to introduce him to. He's hearing us, and is also live with us here. So please... If you have any question, you can ask or you respond to that, sir. Thank you. I got you, Charlie. But then, um, uh, um, uh, I know what you're very well. And um, the business he's talking about, I'm very concerned about it. And um, uh, he reached out to me for concerning the business. And I had to, well, what I did was to to link him, link him up to a customer. And uh, he had this agreement with the customer. And he asked me if I knew the customer too well. That gave him my, my own insight. And continuously, the way I had the business is done, I know. I have also tried to reach out to the, the customer. I have also tried to reach out to the customer when he complained about pay. And uh, so now it's it's very difficult to 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 reach out to the customer and have the money. And hold on, hold uh, on. I remember that. Hello, Mr. Mr. Harry. Mr. Harry. Mr. Harry. Hello, please yeah. hold hold the line. Yeah. He said he can't hear you. That you don't understand what you're saying. No, but I cannot hear you. Well, I'm saying. Is it a conference call or what it is? Or is this a loudspeaker call? He's on speaker. Madam, get a conference call, please. Sorry? Get him to a conference call. I can't hear you. I said get him to a conference call. That's better. Hold on. Increase the volume of your set from there. The problem is from you, not from here. Because all the cases we handle today, we, we are here, we hear everybody. So, uh, Mr. Uche, increase the volume of your set from there. Because I don't have problem with what I'm saying. We are doing that, hold the line.
So you have your earpiece with you since and you are disturbing somebody. You are behaving like a, a, a child. What, what, what is funny there? Hello. Hello. Which I believe you, you can hear this person. I believe you can hear him now. Go ahead, please. Are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to Uche. You can hear me. Can you hear him now? He said he can hear you. Go ahead. It's on yes. conference. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Harry. Go ahead, please. You were the one that was into the business, but not him. Sorry? The business you ask uh, Mr. Uche to, uh, to invest in, I believe that is your business. When you say I asked him to invest into the yeah. business, that's totally wrong. All right? How, how? How does it happen? Yeah, I asked him. How it happened? Let him explain. He, ha he has explained, and I believe I'm saying based on his explanation. How, how did he explain me? What did he say? That you were into the business, and that you asked him to invest into the business. Then that is wrong. He asked me to invest in, in, in business. He said he wants to invest generally in business. He asked me, I didn't ask him of investing in any business. He asked me of investing in a business. Okay. And I was like, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. And, and I was like, 
there is fish meal business and uh, that is what I, I, I used to know and this is how it is you know and then uh, it was like okay contacts and I sent him multiple contacts so from the contacts I sent he chose um, uh, one customer uh, he resent me to the customers you actually sent hold on sir you actually sent him the contacts of those that he was dealing with yeah, I sent him contacts of multiple customers that I've been working with. I was like, propose to them what you what you can offer, and that is what happened. But I, did you, for at one point, told him that if they should uh, after the after the the shipment of the goods to that place, uh, uh, the you bureau, you have to uh, process the payment. That he has no reason no. of coming down there. No. I have never, I, I, I am not in charge of any payment. I I was just there to like, if, if, um, uh, uh, if the customer, if the if he can, if, if he can, uh, how can I put it in? I was just there to like, say, this is the customers that I, I used to sell to them. But I was no more into the business. And I was out of Senegal. I was out of Senegal totally. And, I've been in so many places. So when you reach out about about business, I was like, okay, you're in Senegal, this is what I used to do, and you know that. So reach out to these customers and see what you can have with them. And reach out to some, some uh, people that can produce their goods. He has all of the people's contacts. So I was not trying to introduce somebody into business where I would tell you, um, oh, you do this, you do that, you do that. No. I was just trying to like um, uh, make you know that you go from this step by step, you understand the business right? and you negotiate with customers. It's not like I'm um, telling the customers they pay to me and they pay to you. But that was never the thing. And when he he made his uh, a, his bank account and everything and they sent money to him, but there was the, the, I, from from every indication they never sent all of the money. Oh, who, know, sent so money to him? who sent the first payment? The the cost, who sent the money to him? The customer he told me about that they agreed, Oliver, Olivier. But you sent the Olivier contact to him and you, are, you gave him assurance that is the reason why he was dealing with the person because he's not into the business. You have been into the business and Olivier has been your customer. <laughs> Okay, so he is saying that uh, I collected money from Olivier and I did not pay him. Aside of uh, saying you collected money from Olivier, at least you are the mediator and the goods were sent there based on your instruction. And everything he processed, both the document and everything you sent to him and the agent you sent to him that collected money from him, he did not know those people. You connected him to the agent that collected money for him, and all the all the all the uh, the bags and everything they they produced there for the business. You it was on your instruction. Ma'am, um, uh, I, I I there are two versions here. You know when you say <clears throat> I I connected him to the person he paid money to and. Uh, the, the 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 person he sends good to yeah, you 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 are getting it all confused because the person that he's talking about the person who produced the goods he knows the person very well while I was in Senegal the person he was always with us so he knows the person so it's not about me hold the hold the line to, hold the line because he's he can hear you and I believe what he said according to him that you told him. Just release money to my agent, get those documents, get the bag produced, order for the goods, rebag, ship it down there, and your money will be paid to you. The rest should be left to you. That was what he said you told him. Ma'am, that's, that, that's not what it was. Hey, I've never said something like that. Can so, you respond uh, from uh, uh, Mr. Uche? Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much. 
You say what? So, I said, I cannot lie against this man. He's my charmer. So, whatever I said, I said here, that is the truth. If he says, if he says that whatever, whatever I said here is not the truth, we connect it to, to, to that is agent. The agent is more sincere, is, is, is the person that tells him about this guy in question. It was him that directed me okay. everything I did. Everything I did. I don't know. I don't know anything about Montana. I don't know anything about religion. I don't know anything about Baga. I don't know anything about about anything. I I I did according to his instruction. When I refused. Even when I refused to send his, his, his documents to them, his agent said, his agent said, I should not send my documents because agent knows me very well. Agent said, I should not send my documents to him. If I send my documents to him, I'm not going to receive my money from him. If you, send your, well. if you send your document to Mr. Herring, Gale, that you will not get your money. Yes, that is what agent told me. But did you let did you send it up? Listen, 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 listen. I don't talk, I don't want too much talk. You know, you like talking, and I don't have I got that time. I have a lot to do on my table. The question I ask you, did you send the the document to him? Yes or no? I sent I posted the document to his uh, to his uh, uh fire in Abidjan according to instruction that uh, he can hate so you send a document to him? Yes, I sent everything to him. And the, his agent told you that if you send a document to him, you will not get your money? Yes, my family, yes they will send my family. Huh? This was the listen to me. To listen to me, Mr. Mr. Uche. I said, listen to me. I'm going to cut you off if you don't take my instruction. You have to listen to me. That's what I'm saying. I don't want extra explanation. Just, just answer what I'm asking you. Did you send a document to him? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Good did. and fine. And the date, apart from the one one fifty they sent to you, how did you get the money? Through him or through Mr. Oliver? Ma, so the, the, the time he said I should send that document to me, I said I don't have money to put the document. He said he will ask his agent, his, his buyer, to send me one fifty thousand. Then he, I said, he said I should send my, my information to him. I sent my information, he offered my information to the buyer in Africa. And the buyer in Africa sent me one fifty thousand. That's what, how it happened. Mr. Mr. Henry, you heard what he said. Uh, that's, that's, that's the same thing we are talking about here. Listen, he said the agent in Senegal said he shouldn't send the documents to me. And that if he sends the documents to me, he will not receive his money. Okay, fine. Now, he did not send documents to me. He sent documents to Olivier in Abidjan. And okay, Olivier hold on. Asked him Who asked him, him to send the document to Olivier? Who asked him to send the document to Olivier? The agent he sent in Dakar, Mensa. He said what? Ask him the agent in Senegal who, who, who produced the goods for him. Ask him to send the documents directly to Mr. Olivier, not to me. Or oh, Uche, you can you respond to that? Uche, can you respond to that? What did you say, ma? You are having ear piece on your ear, and you are still asking me what did he say? Did you have ear problem? I don't hear you very clearly, ma. Sorry about that. Harry, please repeat yourself. Thank you. What I'm saying is like the urgent in Senegal told him that he shouldn't send documents about the shipment of the shipment to me. He should better send it to the agent, to the buyer in Abidjan straight because if he sends this to me, he will not receive his money. All right. And now he sends the documents to Mr. Oliver, Olivier in, uh, in uh, Abidjan. And Mr. Olivier asked him his information to make his payment. Mr. Olivier made payment of, I think, one million plus. Until then, he has not made another payment from, from what he is telling me and from what I have tried to reach out to Mr. Olivier to, to, to no avail. 
You understand? Is so Mr. Olivier still serving as a custom officer in Senegal? Is he still a custom officer in Senegal? Mr. Olivier is a, is a, is a, buyer, in, a buyer of the goods in Abidjan. He's not a custom officer. He's not a custom officer. Okay, we want the the contact of Mr. Olivier, his, his uh, picture, his uh, telephone number, and his address also. But in a nutshell... Ask, ask, ask Uche about the, all the contacts you need. All the contacts you need, ask him. He will provide them because he has them. But you are the one standing as a mediator. You link him there to them. Ma, it's, it's not about any mediator thing here. It's just about you sit with somebody and you guys are talking and you know. And it's like, I said, okay, I used to know this person. And then it's like, okay, this guy that used to come to the house, like, okay, yes. Then reach out to him. That was just it. It's not like I'm telling you, I'm signing a, a, a document stating that um, uh, I am in charge. I am the guarantee. I am this. I am that. I am that. No, that was not it. Okay, when you it's know that he was going to, uh, when you know that he was going to invest that much, and you don't, you are, you cannot guarantee those you are asking him to deal with. Do you really have any reason to send the contact to him or encourage him to start using his ad hoc money producing uh, uh, bags and all this? Ma'am, when you say when you say he um, uh, invested that much, well, we're talking we're, we're talking about a container here. We're not talking about. Um, uh, um, uh, buying um, uh, uh, maybe uh, present. What? So he knew about it. It's not about I'm telling you. I am telling him to 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 invest in something that he does not know what it is. He knew about it. He has been there. He has been seeing how things are going and just like that. And I was out of the business. Because I was moving into something different. But since you know you are moving up to something I, different and he have no idea of your business, you have no reason to encourage him in venturing into the business. Investing into a business that he have no uh, idea and he's calling you his chairman and you are acting as his chairman and you are not denying him now, pushing him for people that he don't know in person, he have no business transaction with them. Is that how things should be done? But I'm, I've never refused that I'm not his chairman, and I will never want anything bad to happen to him. And he knows that very well. Because I have been making all kinds of calls to reach out to Olivier to pay the money. And the first thing that the first thing that happened that I can recall was that they had a lot of fights in fights about the goods. They had a lot of fight about the goods. What is a fight? You know much about the, the goods. Was, it has been your business. You were doing with the you were dealing with the business ma, before you ma, decided to diversify. So what is wrong with the yes, what ma. is wrong with the, the goods? Madam, do you know something? No, sir. When you ship a container from yeah. Senegal to Abidjan, all right? Yeah. It takes three days or four days to get to Abidjan. All right. Yeah. And when you get to Abidjan, Abidjan ports have only about ten days to clear the goods from the ports. Okay. And if you don't clear the goods up before that ten days, you start during uh, demorage. Yeah. All right. And now you cannot clear the goods without having the papers, the, the paperwork of the container, like the bill of loading and all sure. the uh, sure. Sanitary documents and all this, like sure. And now, when he sends the container to Abuja, the first thing was like send the documents to the customer so that the customer can start making preparation of removing the goods. Now, but hold on, hold on, please. hold on, hold on, please. Is that the procedure? Is that how it should be done? Is that how you have been doing it? That's that's how I send containers to. That's how I send. That if your container gets there, you will send the bill of lading to your to the customer, not to the agent that will clear the goods and deliver to the to, to the customer. You give your your, your money, your goods is at stake, 
and you send the bill of loading to the to uh, to the customer. Is that how it's been done? What I'm saying is, let, let me come again. If you don't, if you don't get me clearly, when you ship it goes to from from uh, um, Dakar to Abidjan, it takes maximum four days yeah. to get to Abidjan. Okay. And when he gets to Abidjan, at the port in Abidjan, he has maximum ten days to clear the goods from the port. And if you are not clearing that goods after after ten days, you start having numerous daily. You know. Now, what happens is like when you send um, uh, the goods to Abidjan, immediately you try to send the, 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 the bill of loading, the certain entry documents and others to the customer. The customer has to know how to, with their own clearing agent in Abidjan, to remove their goods before the 10 days. All right? Yeah. That is how it happens. Now, they had an infight about payment. And the payment they were, they were having was that Duce said what he knows is like before he sends the bill of loading and the document, the agent has to pay, the, the customer in Abidjan has to pay him cash. The customer in Abidjan said he can pay him this amount of money and when he clears the container from the boat, I think a week later he will pay the remaining balance. So Uche was saying that they should pay his money first of all cash before the, 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 he can send the document. So it took longer, it took a long time without the documents and the customer started having tumorage. Until I remember it got to some point where the customer could not even clear the container again, but it was to wait that they sell the container as auction, then he buys it before he can come. And I, 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 it's been long. I have to go back to the mails of the conversation and get to the information that was going. And finally, the customer had to send me a million access information that, okay, listen, let me send you this money. Then I, I, I have the documents, I clear the container, and send you the remaining balance. That was what happened. So he is talking that I am in charge, whereas I am not in charge. I was just like telling him that, listen, it, it is not good you do business and um, a, the strings attached. When you're doing business, there are two things involved, the cash and the trust. And the trust is more important than the cash because with the trust, you will make more cash. But there was no trust in this, in his deals. It was like money or no document. That, that was what happened. And he had that's why he had all these issues. And I've tried to talk to the people in Abidjan to see how they can pay his money and there is no way. I've sent countable mails and make calls. They are not even responding. Okay. When uh, you had the, you that know the procedure and how things have been done as someone that has been in the business for years, and this person uh, trusted you as his chairman or however he called you, when you discovered that he was not, he, uh, he, he has no knowledge of how things have been done, that he needed to send bill of lading because there is no magic you can do to bring container out of any wharf without the bill of lading. Probably the, even the bill of lading had to go ahead before the container arrived to, arri to avoid a demorage uh, accumulation in the goods or container. Did you encourage him? Did you tell him to send the documents so as to avoid uh, having these uh, issues that the Mr. Ovia is uh, uh, standing or capitalizing on that we, he refused to return his money back. Did you tell him to send the, the bill of lady that that is being, that's how it should be done? I, I explained everything to him. Like, listen, this is international business. It's not like you go to some local village no, we all do Amito importation. I import Amito importation. I import goods from China, from Europe, from America. So I know what it takes yes. to, to do an importation to any country. If I'm exporting or I'm importing, yes. a bill of lading is very, very important. And once they, uh, before, they, before they ship belted, you should be able to have your bill of lading with your agent. They must start a, a documentation process before they ship a belt. So if you sorry, have been into that. business, yes, sorry. Understands that perfectly well. Sorry. 
I say in this country, you understand that very well. Yeah, because you 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 should have told him the the, the, the risk of him holding on to bill of lading because there is no how no magic any agent will do to bring that container from wharf without a bill of lading. So the accumulation yes, for yes, how long, Mr. Mr. Uche? How yes, long? How long did the, did the, where the bill of lading be with you before you sent? Mm. Ma, if you if you not look to stay with me like a like a three to four days, huh? Three, like three to four days, three to four days, because we are dragging about in a ten minutes. That's why the that's why the bill of lading is like three to four days. Three to four so days. Like, after three to four days, you send the bill of lading. Yes, I sent. No, I have already sent the copy. The copy of, uh, of the bill of lading to them. I have already sent it, sent it to them. So what I'm going Miss, to uh, Miss, the original. Mr. Harry, but you hold the original for how long? You hold the original for how long? I hold it, I hold it like three to four days. His, his agent and his family are all the agents. They are alive today. There is there is no how excuse me, it's okay. It's okay. There is no how you uh three to four days um uh, late coming of a bill of lading will warrant any container going into the marriage. No how before container being auctioned for a, for I mean for uh, for overstayed, it takes months, not even weeks. So Delaying bill of lady for four good days can never in any way, in any part of the world, make any container to go into the marriage that will lead to the ushering of the container. So uh, let me tell you something. Right? Yeah, let yeah. me tell you something, all right? It's not about about uh, about talking and talking and talking. It's about proof, all right? And most of the proof were via email, all right? And he was even sending copies to the, to me that what the way they were discussing. Like when the 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 the, 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 the customer told him to submit his bank account for, for payment. I'm just going through my emails now. I am seeing some like that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> They were doing all the they were doing everything and when he finishes he gets back to me like listen um uh, this is what is happening right now and they they, they get they, I, i'm reading the mails that they, used, they, they send because i've searched the mails i'm trying to read what they were saying and i'm like um uh, seeing that it is all both of them their fault because there wasn't any trust in it and the container finally got to do more rich or something like that but at what point and did the container the get to do more? At what point did the container get yeah, to do more? Because, you know, because documents okay. were not there in time, and then when, until he got to the fact that they are sending, sending back the container to Senegal, ask him if he did, he did not work on that. Send him back, send the container back to Senegal. They are sending what? He asked you, he, 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 he requested to send the container. Senegal. But did they send it back to Senegal? No. Ma, can I talk, now, ma? Yeah. Okay, ma. What if what one guy is doing is your life? No, he's your chairman. Does your chairman lie? He says he's your chairman. Ma, if yes, it's tomorrow. In fact, I'm so ashamed that he's saying this kind of thing. He's saying. This thing is your life. This thing is, this thing is saying, the document stay with me like three to four days before I go to the document. With the, with the instruction and the, with the discussion of the agent, because the agent said that I should supposed to be Hello. to them. Hello. Yeah. If they yeah. refuse to pay me, then I will see the agent. I, 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 I wish to understand if he has sent you all the documents and all the
The issue now is this: if the money is not, uh, if if the if money is not paid by Olivia, and we did not have any better proof of that, then you have to pay his money back to him. If the money is not it, you. If this no, money is not paid to him, and we did not, hold on. I said, you listen to me. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. No, it, it's, not, it's not done like that. You need to go through all the emails, all the conversation, and see where the problem is. Did you hear what I said? What happened and what happened? It's not me. I'm not going to get any money from you. I'm saying it gave me five francs for the business. No, I did not mean this. Listen to me. Did you hear what I said? You are just talking. You must listen. Because if you listen to me, you heard what I said, and I said, we are going to have all the documents. And in a situation where we did not have any proper proof from what you are saying, you, you will pay him his money. So you can't just tell me, you are, because you said you are a woman, right? Yes, this is in Tapo case. If we did not get any proper proof of what you are saying, at any time you get to Nigeria, I will get you arrested and we will face up the case. You cannot tell me I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. And the same thing I'm repeating. Whatever document you have, conversation or whatever, you forward it to our email. Whatever you have, you will forward it to I our email. email to me, it's not like that. Don't I'm, going it I'm going to forward it to you. I'm going to forward it to you. I'm going to forward it to you. That's okay. That was the first thing you had to do. That is what I told you. You are the one that was not listening. That is what I said. You can go back and listen to my com to my statements. That was what I said. Harry, Chucho, what are you saying? Please, ma. According to what I what this guy is saying is, is lie. Because the time them I started communicating communicating with the dance with the year. When they say me, when they say that I mean, the when they the time they say that one million francs. At the time I started communicating with the year to pay my demanding balance. And the year told me that I, he don't know me. I don't know him that I, whatever I want that he is. I put it to him. I should go to Harry. I should go to Harry and talk to him. That it was Harry that told him to send me the one million sepa. It was Harry that told me to send me that one for that day or one for the two thousand sepa. And they, after they made that payment of one uh, 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 one million, they are then asking for my remaining money. Harry, begin, Harry and the Olivia begin to tell me that my container is still in in Abidjan, Abidjan seaport. Listen to me. Hold on. Hold on. I don't need all this talk. I don't need all this talk. Excuse me, please. I don't need... Hold on. I don't need all this, your story. That is conventionsness. You are not satisfied with what you are doing. You want to make money. And some of you will stay somewhere. You'll be calling somebody your chairman, your chair lady. you trust people like that and people will just be using people's money and reaching themselves. You are talking now that the man is lying. You say it's your chairman is lying. But you said you trusted him. And when the people, when you called your pastor and you said your pastor said, do nothing with this man. You never listen to your pastor. You said his friend told you not to do nothing with him. You go ahead to do something with him. What are you talking there? Don't waste my precious time. Please, stop and that. Only mistake I said, man. And, only mistake I made. and you are saying it's your chairman. Ch chairman what? I 
Hold on. Hold on. Listen to me. Listen to me. I will cut you off. If you stress me again, I'm going to cut you off. Just listen to me. Stop talking there. Send your document to our email. Okay, ma. Your conversation to our email. Okay. And I'm going to send email to Mr. Harry right away. He will forward us everything. This is Interpol. Whatever it takes for us to get justice, we'll get it. And that is what we we'll stand for. We are not here to intimidate you. We are not here to Im intimidate Mr. Harry, but to ensure justice. Okay. So whatever transpired between both of you, let everybody say the truth and then the consequence. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Harry. Yeah, we are going to forward you our email. Please, you send every necessary document. Just the same way I said from the beginning. Send it to us, and we'll go through it, and also do other proper uh, investigation through the appropriate authority. Then we'll get back. We'll revisit the case. Thank you. That's okay. All right. All right, thank you, viewer. Thanks for being with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on Access to Justice TV and follow us on our Facebook page on Human Rights Defender and Access to Justice Advocate Center. And for more useful information, you can visit our website on www.hldac.org.ng. And if you have any reason to send us email for inquiry and other thing, please our email address is info at hldac.org.ng. Dot org dot ng. And if you want to make put call across to us for your inquiry or other other information you may require from our office, is zero nine zero three thousand twenty four seventy four or zero nine zero three thousand twenty four eighty four. And for those of you that will be willing to send WhatsApp message to our line, complaint line is zero nine zero three thousand twenty four twenty three. Thank you very much. I'll have a very wonderful. We can enjoy your salad break. We'll be back again. We'll relate back to you. And um, my advice for some of you. Now, I was saying before, before Mr. Harry gets across to us, I repeat. Don't be desperate for nothing. And please don't go into business you don't know. Because I heard some of you were just asking question, what is wrong if you go into business you don't know? No, you don't go into business you don't know. There are so many risks attached to it. You can lose your capital by venturing into business you don't know because you have no idea on how to run the business. You can fall victim of 409 if you are you go into business you don't know. And aside, before you go into business, you really want to go into, you still have to ask God if that is the true business you are to do and excel and succeed in it. We all have areas we can function, areas we can do well, areas we, where our passion where our dreams is attached to and what you have passion for. Don't just feel, oh, this person is a hairdresser, I want to be there. He's a uh, shoe, uh, he's a cobbler, I want to be a cobbler. And you will just be flying here and there, jack of all trade, master of none. If it is proper and good to be going into business without asking questions, then I believe some of our brothers, uh, like from the uh, eastern, eastern part or even other parts of the world, that learn trading before going into that they wouldn't have done that probably their family would have sell out one of their plot of land or property they have there established the personal business but because it is necessary it's paramount it is important to know what you want to go into and that is the reason why you have people serving men women other business uh, 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 body for some time for some years to study the line 
properly before they go into that. So for whatever reason, anything you know how to do best, please stick to that and know. Invest your time, your, your, your energy, your wisdom. Research more on that area. Do more visibility study on that before you go into that. Mr. The issue we are uh, cracking our brains for today, if Mr. Uche Osueke keep to whatever he think he's doing, probably maybe he was working there as a salary earner, and he stick there earning his salary, saving his money to do other things that be better than looking at someone you called your chairman, you are trusting the person you want to be like your chairman. Let me tell you, average big man, nobody will want to make want you to be bigger than him, even get to the where they are. Because they always wish you be with them, chairman, chairman. If you have the money, you cannot chairman him. He cannot be your chairman. If you're on the same level, proportion with him, you can never say my chairman, no. You just have to greet him like every other normal person. But because you want to keep the person, you want to accord the person respect, you went into the person, but knowingly to you that the person is also looking for your own to add to his or her own to make to, to remain in that stand or even go higher so that you can you can be according that person that respect and and uh, 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 giving him the name that he he feel he wants to uh, that blow up his head. So knowing you have no idea of the business, it was just remote controlling you. Go and do this in your business. And some of those people, they are very, very smart. They just want to, I mean, uh, uh, lead you into what you will do. And a situation like this, they, they exonerate themselves because they will tell you, no, but it's registered in your name. It's not in my name. Uh, ask of the person paid you. I did not pay you. This and that. But by God's grace, let they cannot ask smart God. That is what I believe. Let him do the, the, what he feels he can do. We have all the necessary documents. We take it off from there, and whatever be the outcome, we return back to the house to relate to you. So please stick to what you know. Don't be anxious for nothing. Don't be a conventional person. Just be contented with what you have and what you know how to do best. And that is my peaceful advice for you today. Thank you very much. Be blessed. Enjoy your day. And please stay out of trouble. Keep safe. I love you. Bye.